Hello people, I am Zergasm, and I'm here to cast a game between Phantom Gaming's Zeroku against Shadow Reed. This was a custom game. This will be a Zerg versus Protoss on Metalopolis, close position, so we should see how this goes. Now, what you do need to realize, uh, one of the important things about being close positions is there's going to be probably some drops or like some air uh, quick air harassment. Of course, Protoss could go Void Rays. Shadow Reed could go, uh, well, he, Shadow Reed should be going fast, uh, getting Mutas eventually. Uh, getting Mutas, that'd be good. He, he will have, uh, pylons scattered all over this base, and if he gets to the point where he has an expansion, he's gonna have most of his units out here, so he could fly in and snipe some of those pylons, which would be good for the Zerg. But then, Zeroku could also, like, maybe put a proxy here with a warp gate, or, sorry, with, um, Warp gate, yeah. Well, just put a proxy pile on there. He could uh, warp in units and get, uh, maybe send zealots into the mineral line or get DTs, anything. So, we see. Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, the Overlord does scout Zeroku's base. Um, he had not scouted it before, just, just sees it with the Overlord, but is not going to be that effective because usually the Overlord's site is slightly bigger than slightly larger than the nexus or the command center or a uh, hatchery so when that overlord's like right here and he could like faintly see the nexus that's all you need that's all you need from that overlord all you need from that overlord is to know that he's there and you could just like move that overlord back over here <coughs> excuse me so that he doesn't know that you're there and he's still going to have to scout you so we see a 14 pool 13, 13 pool go down Go down by Shadow Reed. Uh, no gas guys, so no 14 gas, 14 pool. He could be going for an expansion. Don't know what he's doing with these drones. Anyway, no gas yet on the field. We have. There we go. There's a. Puts down the first Vespian geyser. Uh, Zeroku Zero does scout, scout that, but he did put the proxy pylon down at that base, so unless Shadow Reed scouts it, it's going to be trouble for him. Now, then we do see a Starman X core, which is very common. He could be four gating, he could be two gate robo, anything. So, no expansion up by the Zerg yet. He's probably going to be expanding though, since he does have a lot of minerals. Moving that out, uh. <laughs> sorry. Saturating that Vespin Geyser would be very smart, very wise at this point. Uh, Zeroku did mess up on his gas timing though, because usually you want to get that gas geyser done, so by the time your Cyber X core is done, you can get that warp gate research, depending on what uh, strategy you're doing. He gets a zealot, just in case anything happens and he needs to block off the ramp. We see the second gateway go down, so it could be a two gate robo. It still could be a four gate, there's always a possibility. Still, Shadow Reed does not know about that proxy pylon, so that's going to be very good for Zeroku so far. Soroku putting down the second gas. Still no expansion up by either of the two. Roach Warren. So he could be doing Shadowry could be doing a quick roach bust. Which wouldn't be that hard, but Zeroku would have to scout that. <coughs> he does need to um, get one more drone on that extractor if he's gonna want to be getting more roaches. Get the speed upgrade for the Zerglings. And you're still he's still he has he's making six hundred minerals. He's gonna want to expand very soon, because you never want to exceed that many minerals, especially this early in the game. Zeroku's keeping his down good. He is chrono boosting that Cyber X core for the warp gate research. We see the third gateway go down, so it's probably going to be a four gate. He's going to use that proxy pylon to his hit to his advantage. But Shadow Reed does need an expansion. Uh, maybe he's too worried that he doesn't have good enough forces to get an expansion, but he he wants to get an expansion before he puts down a layer or anything. Or does anything or techs up too much? You always want an expansion of Zerg. Here comes three roaches. Um, probably not. May they might attack actually because there's only going to be there's going to be two zealots and a stalker. They might attack. He's probably going to poke up the ramp to see what he has and then retreat. Okay. Well, we have diminished any point of a four gate, but here we go. One zealot losing all its shields and pulling back. One roach only losing about half half health. He knows he has a stalker up there, so he has to be careful about that. <coughs> but 
Zoroku throws in a Twilight Council and a Forge, which means so he's throwing in a Forge means he could be expanding pretty soon. We all, we also know he's expanding. He's going to put down more Sentries, Force Fields to protect his expansion, or he put he puts down more Stalkers to kill the three Roaches that are out there. We do see the expansion go down by Shadow Reed. No no layer yet. Still needs more gas. He's wasting all. He's putting all the gas into Roaches. Well, Zoroku is teching up quite a bit. Where he's probably he should be get, he should get upgrades soon. This this group goes out kills kills off two of those roaches. He's going to end up pulling that roach back. No upgrades by these guys yet. No layer tech yet. No speed upgrade. So he just go he's sticking on these tier one units. Now depending on what depending on what Zoroku does, this could be very good for him. Still has not scouted that proxy pylon right there, which is going to put a heavy toll on him, but here comes a rush by, well not a rush, but here comes an attack by Zoroku, he's going to have to warp and use from that maybe while he, while he's attacking this, so he he gets a distraction up front, Zoroku will want to pull back, there's too many roaches for him to handle, he ends up losing one stalker, he loses one, two, both of his zealots, uh, he's going to get chased down by Shadow Reed, <coughs> but still not scout, not scout that pylon, uh, just, just getting the layer tech, still needs of course, still needs to inject larva. Start, uh, start saturating that expansion because Zoroku knows he is an expansion now, so he has time to get more probes, set down an expansion, tech up a little. But Zoroku actually uses the forge to fo put photon cans down in his base, just in case he's you know, scared of burrowed roaches. He is he's getting charge lots. We do see a dark shrine coming up. Don't know why that was just pinged. We pff, right. we do see a dark shrine coming up, which means that he will be getting dark templars. But Shadow Reed just getting his lair. He will. He should be getting overseers. Hopefully he can scout that without overseers. He could, that could do a number on him. He shouldn't. Yep. He should just move. He what? All right. Here comes the engagement. But Shadow Reed should just pull his units away from that and not like not engage near those photon cannons. Maybe like poke around here because he doesn't. Uh, Zeroku actually does not have a lot of units. Uh, as you can see, he was forced to cancel that expansion, and Shadow Reed will be poking up the ramp. But warping in more stalkers, he knows he can defend it. He might have wanted a sentry in that mix to block off that ramp and cut his fort, cut the uh, cut Shadow Reed's forces in half. This is not going to be good. Shadow Reed's forces are taking a toll. One photon cannon down should. Be working on getting more units. He's double, He's working off of four gases right now, but he does not have uh, saturation on that third one. Yes, he does. He puts down a spire, so he should, he should probably be getting speed upgrade also. Unless he goes Roach Muta, which is not the best because uh, Mutaling would be would be doing better because those Zerglings would uh, do a lot to those stalkers while the uh, while the Mulus would kill those charge lots, but you're still wanting, but uh, it, w it would be smart to kill get roaches to kill those charge lots. He should be getting roach speed. That's very important. You shoot, you move faster, and you shoot faster. Shadow Reed proxy pylon still there. I don't know how Zoroku is going to utilize it. He's probably going to utilize it using this dark shrine that he had just made, which he is. He is, puts up two dark templars. Going to go in there, work on sniping. Um, no over, yep, no overseers yet. By Shadow Reed, so he's gonna go in there. He sees the spire. He wants to kill that. Those things take a while to make, so that's gonna do something, do a big part on Shadow Reed. He's gonna notice this. He's gonna want to start morphing a overseer somewhere. And now there, there goes that. He's also gonna kill the Roach Warren because that's um, those are his two big units there. The expansion throw down by Zoroku. Two immortals, those are going to do a lot of damage. If you notice, uh, even they're not upgraded, they do 50 damage versus armored. So this mute, this is not this might may or may not be enough, but they're not speed upgraded zerglings, <coughs> which could be tricky. So before that happens, I would like to end this and.